Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. In today's episode, let's learn how to use pages to create layouts that wrap around images. So Pages is much more than just a word processing application. You can also use it to do some layouts. Now one of the things you may want to do is lay out text that kind of wraps around a non-rectangular image. So let's look at how you would do that. So here we are inside of Pages. Let's start by creating a blank document and then pasting some text in here, just some sample text. Now we want to put an image inside of this. We're going to do that with drag and drop. So I've got on the desktop here a image of a baseball. I'm going to drag and drop that into document and will appear in there. Now we can see right away kind of mission accomplished. We've got this image and the text wraps around it. Now the reason the text wraps around it is because this image is created with an alpha channel. Some clip art is done that way. In other words, the area around the baseball is invisible so uh, the text knows to kind of wrap around in a circular fashion like that. Now I can shrink the baseball by grabbing one of the corners here and dragging to reduce the size and you can see text wraps normally. Now you may not want to actually have it work this way. You can see the text actually reads from left to right and skips over the baseball. So we may actually want to lay this out with a multi-column format. And the way to do that would be simply to go to the menu item here and select two columns. Now we have a two column layout and the baseball is in the middle of it which is usually the way you would do this. Now what if the image doesn't have that alpha channel in it? For instance this one here is the same baseball but it's a square image. I'm going to reduce the size. You can see here that the text wraps around as a square here which isn't what we want. We want it to wrap around the baseball as if it's a circular object. Fortunately you can do this in pages by choosing format and this is with the image selected and go to mask with shape. It gives you some options here. We're going to choose oval. So now what we get is the ability to edit this oval here. It's a little too tight so we're going to drag it up to the right. We're going to basically make it surround the baseball and at the bottom I'm going to drag it down like so. So now I've created a circle around the baseball and I've got exactly what I want. The text wrapping around it in a circular fashion. With either technique we can bring up the inspector and look at the inspector here and the third item here at the top is wrap and under wrap we can select how we want it to wrap. So we can do the floating wrap which is what we've got and we can have it trimmed with more or less space around it. Now here's a third way to do it. And in case you've got an image like this that is mostly white space around the image, you can select it, go to format and choose instant alpha. And then what you can do right after that is select the color by clicking. You can see a little crosshairs there and select white and it will figure out the wrap based on that. So that could be an object on white, it could be an object on black or any solid color. Now let's say we don't want to do a multi-column layout. Say we want to do one column and we want to have the baseball over to the right here and a little bit larger uh, so basically it intrudes on the text from the right side. We want to trim it so we only get the left side of the baseball. We don't get this bit hanging off here that may appear in the margins. We're going to select the baseball, go to format and choose mask. Before I do that I'm going to move the baseball up so we can see it here in the example. Uh, we're going to choose mask and we can see there's an edit mask button and a zoom amount we're actually going to move the mask so we can see just the part of the baseball we want. So we'll select about half of it like that. And then when we're done with that we can select off of it and now we can move this baseball independently. So we have half a baseball now because we've masked the other half and we can put it in the text like that. So it's useful for cropping out things you don't want in an image or creating wraps that work like this. So there are three different ways to use a non-rectangular shape and have your text wrap around it in pages. Hope you found this useful. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.